Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to No Good Noel. Last time we delved into no Noel's interesting home life. By interesting, I mean fucking shitty. And somehow managed to get ourselves as the apprentice to some bozo, despite our snowflakes being shit. Ma mostly due to our shitty home life. Ugh. And naturally, our friend is upset at us for because she, damn it, she's used to being the successful one. Uh, I, I, that's a bit harsh on Ivy. I, I can understand her being distraught and lashing out, you know? But I guess it depends on what she does after she calms down. Well, let's go continue, shall we? Well, shall we, audience? God, you guys never answer me. You're so rude. Anyways. It's a brand new day, as it tends to be. No, actually, days are recycled all the time. Noel has arrived to Master Udalinen's workshop first thing in the morning, as promised. <coughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to try and get into his accent again. Um, good tomorrow. What? Ugh, no. Meant morning. You don't say that, huh? Good morning. <laughs> Tro that's the troubles of speaking in a in a in your non-native language, I suppose. I know what that's like. My re my native language is gibberish. See those clouds on the floor? On the floor sat some flat packed clouds, barely hovering off the ground. Both do this week. We fill them with snowflakes today. Not with my snowflakes, I hope. Yours, of course. Now come and watch. I teach you how to make a good snowflake. <laughs> oh dear. Udalinen gestures Noel towards a humongous snowflake. It almost looks like a small tree. If you hadn't ended with, th with that, I'd have suspected that maybe you'd taken me on as an apprentice so that you could fill people you don't like clouds with terrible snowflakes. <laughs> I mean, there's pro there might be a market for that, for terrible snowflakes. <laughs> Who knows? Oh yeah, it almost looks like a small tree. I kind of thought that was a tree. <laughs> Just like a weird, a weird magical tree or whatever. Mass production. See the branches. Oh, so there is mass production then. Neat. And the edges of the snowflakes start growing more snowflakes as Udalinen conjures them up. They drift gently downwards and land on top of a cloud, where they disappear too. The cloud gets a little fl fluffier. Huh. Alright then. Simple process. This snowflake design is simple also. I've made both very simple for you. Because you're simple also, eh? Ha! <laughs> nice. He is joking, nudging Noel's shoulder. I don't think that's proper grammar, but whatever. It's Udalinen. It's not his native language. <laughs> we'll see if you made it simple enough. Now see here. Like so. Master shows Noel how exactly he conjures up the snowflakes. It's the exact opposite way Ivy always taught her. Ha! Huh. I've got two ideas about that. There's the obvious idea is that Ivy has been sabotaging us this whole time. Which, I mean, maybe. Not the most likely of things, but may you never know. Or, alternatively, maybe the reason why he decided to take us on rather than Ivy is because Ivy has been learning, well, the, the opposite way this whole time. Which may or may not, uh, which might be the wrong way or might just be a way that he it doesn't use. And so he thinks that, and, and so since she's so ingrained in that opposite way, he, it'll be a mil uh, much harder to teach her his way rather than, say, Noelle, who's learning from 
not scratch, but much less of a built up thing. Huh. That kind of makes sense. She couldn't have taught me wrong on purpose, could she? She very much could have. But it might just be that she was being taught a different way. Or, or self-taught or whatever. But she soon shakes the thought away. No, no, she wanted us both to become apprentices. Why would she sabotage that? Did you understand? Noel tries, and after figuring some out, gets a few snowflakes forming on some of the branches. What do you know? It really is simple. Good. Now get all the branches to produce, produce. Oh, produce, produce. As in, yeah, I get that. That's kind of a... <laughs> produce, produce. Was that wrong to say? No, no. That's kind of funny. Once, once you know this one with your eyes shut, comes the next one. Good luck. I make us copy. Wait, before you go, can I ask you something? Ask away. Why did you take me out? Uh, why did you take me as your apprentice? What about Ivy? Hmm. You work hard, Noel, and you are honest. Those, those are some conclusions to draw after meeting me once. Honest, you say? Now that's an interesting thing to say. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but, but alternatively, maybe I was right earlier. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I think I did. But the idea that perhaps there's something not quite natural about her snowflake making skill, black magic and such. Maybe something to do with those imps that were mentioned. I don't know. Hmm. Shut up. You was on time, and you had the ads with you from work. Oh, that that's actually a good point. So I saw you were reliable, and not a slacker. Huh. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. But Ivy's a million times better than me. You saw her snowflakes yourself. Well, yes, but that sort of skill can be learned. Where, but changing someone's mindset is a lot harder. Yes, she is better. Her snowflakes were so beautiful, my eyes pop out of my head. Exactly, she's really passionate about this too. You should... But so what? Er, uh, what does it matter if it's, it's gorgeous, if it's not on time? No one will see it then. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't have even bo bothered to stick around and see her snowflake if it weren't for you, Noel, uh, pushing him to stay and and stay a little longer. So <laughs> she wouldn't have even gotten a chance without you, which is also speaks well of you, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Maybe my uh, my. Maybe my theories were wrong. Maybe it's just as simple as that. That she was just, that she just didn't have, that she, that she, or, that she had already screwed up her first impression with him before she even arrived. Huh. Fair enough. I mean, she's not always late. She was late on one of the most important days of her life. That really says a lot, you know? Sometimes she just gets really inspired and forgets the time. I don't need a apprentice who follows her inspiration down a cliff. Well, that goes fucking hard. No more ugly snowflakes are fine too. It all looked the same on the ground anyway. Good point. <laughs> I was kind of wondering about that. Considering they'd all sort of blend together in the end. Beauty has time and place. This is not that place. Make snowflakes, Noel. Both clouds must be full this week. 
Not to mention, you'll never, it'll never be in that time and place if you, if you don't get there on time. <laughs> Master Udalinen goes to brew some coffee. Noelle watches her ugly snowflakes fall from the tree. She's not sure what to think of all that. A few hours later, Master is observing Noelle's snowflakes. The cloud is still rather slim, but has the makings of a mighty cumulus. So, how are they? Noelle is feeling a little hopeful. These are her best snowflakes yet. Below average. Well, <laughs> Noelle is no longer hopeful. Well, that's that's an improvement above shit. <sighs> I should have known. No good, huh? I didn't say no good. I said below average. Passable snowflakes. Yeah, exactly. They aren't no good. They just aren't very good. That still means they're at least somewhat good. You know? Well, maybe you don't. Will it really be okay to send over snowflakes like these? Of course. Only special occasions need beautiful snow. For snow, New Year's, weddings. People will notice then. But regular snow? No one care. They only care it's there. Huh. Somehow being a snowflake maker is less glamorous than I thought. Only glamorous for grand snowflake masters. Now you know what it is. You still want to be apprentice? Of course. If you'll still have me, that is. Your snowflakes are crap, but you are fast. Welcome to my shop. Hehe, <laughs> thank you, thank you. One more thing must be done. Legal stuff. You need license. Clear the, te the test and I grant license. Then you get paid per cloud filled. Alright, let's see that test then. Glad to see Noelle finding a bit of confidence, a bit of stiffness to her spine, a bit of spring in her step. They walk, they walk over to another large snowflake tree. What an odd sentence. The design on it is, is more extravagant, and next to it is e an even more extravagant one. You've already shown you can make low-tier snowflakes. Now we'll also make these two kinds, and you are hired. They're kind of complicated. Bare minimum requirement. These are these not too hard. Master Udalinen conjures up a few snowflakes from both trees. See? No problem. Try yourself. I think my accent is drifting again. Noel tries the less complicated, but still plenty complicated one. Out comes... something. It's a snowflake, but it doesn't look anything close to ex the example design. Rejected. Try more. And she does, but it just doesn't click for her. Hmm. Perhaps you're tired. It's first day ever, and you filled half cloud. Go to rest. We try this tomorrow again. What happens if I can't make these snowflakes? Can't hire you. Noelle's shoulders hunch a little. Then we practice more, like we will either way. But I want to grant you license, so I can pay you also. Isn't it fine if I just make the easy snowflakes? I can't pay you if you don't have license. Then you're apprentice only. Got it. Rest, Noel. Tomorrow we try again. Alright. Thank you. I'll be here first thing in the morning. As is correct. Good night. Good night. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Noel already knows it. Those two snowflake designs are too complicated for her. She'd need to practice who knows how long to get them right. The problem is, she can't afford to do that. The only reason she could accept this apprenticeship was due to the promise of getting paid for her work. Is it back to delivering ads and scraping by for me? I knew this was too good to be true. Ah. Oh. God damn. 
You shouldn't have- you shouldn't be having to make this choice to begin with. I even hurt Ivy to do this. I should apologize. No. Well. Maybe she has cooled down by now? Ivy's father opens the door, but unlike usual, he doesn't invite her in. Good evening. What brings you here? Oh, um, I was hoping to see Ivy. Is she home? Uh, Ivy doesn't want to see you. Oh, I'll let her know you dropped by, though. Have a good night. He closes the door. <gasps> she knocks on the door again, but no one answers. Yikes. She's that mad at me, huh? Ah, what a pissant. <laughs> Noelle doesn't give up that easily, though. She walks around the building to Ivy's window and climbs up via a fence. Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, throw rocks at her window or something, but alright, that works too. Breaking and entering. He's done this plenty of times. Whenever Ivy and her wanted a secret sleepover, she'd come in like this. Once up, she knocks on the window. Ivy opens the curtains, looking pissed. What do you want? Just to talk. Can you let me in? Ivy rolls her eyes and opens the window for Noelle. Say what you have to say, then leave. What did I do to receive this kind of treatment? You know what you did. Fuck you, Ivy. I don't! I accepted a job offer. Was that so bad? <laughs> Look, I... I know you really wanted that apprenticeship. And I should have waited for a better time to tell you. It's not the timing that's the problem. Why am I not allowed to be an apprentice without you? Just snatch my dream away from me. What's the problem? But regardless of if I took it or not, you weren't going to get it anyway. Just get out. Listen, it's not even all that. It's just grunt work. Of course it's grunt work in the beginning. I, yeah, okay, but it turns out I might not even get hired. Ah. Yeah, it turns out I, you, have to clear this set of trials for a license. And I'm too dumb for it, so I think I have to turn down the apprenticeship too. Ivy just glares at Noelle. Yeah, so, so we're both out after all. And that's supposed to make me feel better, is it? I don't fucking know what will make you feel better. I don't think anything's gonna make you feel better. I think you're just upset in general and you want someone to lash out at. And I'm a convenient target because I was more successful than you. Look, I, I didn't, I didn't make you late. I didn't make you get, have a terrible first impression on that guy. I, in fact, I did everything I could to help you. You pissant. Yeah, I betrayed you, but it didn't pan out anyway, so it's all good. I didn't fucking betray you, you asshole! What betrayal, Ivy? The second you knew I didn't get an offer, you should have gone and turned down yours. That's what a real friend would have done. We were supposed to do this together. You can't expect that, I need the money. Money and money. Yes, money. Do you know what it's like to not have any? We're not all born with silver spoons up our asses like you. That's it. I'm done with this conversation. Get out. Oh, boo fucking who, Ivy. Now that the shoe's on the other foot, suddenly you don't want to continue this conversation anymore. I just want you to see this from my point of view. Insulting me is the best way to achieve that, definitely. Fuck you, Ivy! You don't make- you don't get to make me feel guilty when you've been nothing but an asshole this whole time. I- yeah, okay, I shouldn't have said that. No, don't backpedal now! Punch her in the face! Throw her out the window! Even though it's tr even though it's true. Get out! 
What does it take to put this past us? I'm sorry, okay? Sure doesn't sound like it. You couldn't even respect the fact that I didn't want to see you today. Get the fuck out! Fine. <sighs> Noelle walks to the door, but then turns to look to looks at Ivy again. Are we still friends? There's no response. I don't think you should be friends with her. Frankly. Perhaps Ivy wasn't sure, uh, sure herself, or perhaps she thought the answer was self-explanatory. I think, I think she's given you far more reason to break off the friendship with her than the other way around. Uh, once Noelle accepts that Ivy wasn't going to speak, she leaves. What an a-hole. Was it over? Noelle can't say. I think, for, I think for now, I should leave her be until she wants to talk. She'll want to talk eventually, right? If not, fuck her. I'm an idiot! I'm such an idiot! Good job, you moron! Lost a friend over a job I can't even keep! <sighs> Mate, if she's willing to stop being friends with you over this, she was never friends with you. <sighs> poor, poor Noelle. Everyone around her is making her feel like shit because they're shitty people. At least Udalinen is... Seems half decent. She thinks about how she's going to tell her mother about the license issue. Uh, no, no, no. I have to get it now. I have to. How did Ivy get so good again? She was always studying and... Oh, that's right. There's those old snowflakes at the mountains. Allegedly, anyways. Maybe if I study them too, something will click? I don't know. The whole thing about studying the old snowflakes in the mountains seems a bit dubious. They didn't mention something about imps or whatever. Maybe she was fucking... I don't know. Making deals with imps for their bl evil black magic and sacrificing souls to them to get better at making snowflakes. And this is why she's so upset, because all of her sacrifices were for nothing, and the weight of her sins is catching up to her. <laughs> or something like that. Probably not. It's not that she really believes studying the old greats will help her. She just doesn't want to think about Ivy, or go home and face her mother. So, into the forest she goes. For the best of reasons, evidently. She runs until she is out of breath. Then she begins blindly picking up snowflakes, expecting a solution to all her problems to make itself apparent. But apparently the solutions were feeling shy tonight. It was ever the... All the snowflakes looked the same to her. Wow, racism. She wasn't able to tell which ones were made by the old greats and which yesterday. Well, perhaps there's not as much difference between the two as you might think. What the hell am I supposed to even look for? Just detailed designs? Or perfectly formed ones? What even makes a good snowflake anyway? Good fucking question. I thought the whole, po I thought the whole point of snowflakes was that, you know, they're, you know they're part of their beauty was that they're all different and everything. You know? All unique designs, which is not entirely true. <laughs> Best you to line was right. It all looks the same on the ground. Fuck! Frustration and sadness was taking over. Noelle kicks the snow, sending glimmering, sparkly snowflakes afloat. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Shh. Fuck you, Ivy! Fuck you and your dad. Fuck your whole family and all the generations to come. <laughs> Good 
Good evening. But, what? Well, this is lucky. Looks like I won't be dying alone after all. Will hadn't heard the guy approaching at all. Then again, she wasn't exactly paying attention. Uh, p pardon? Since we're both lost, now we can freeze to death together. Oh, I'm not lost. And as a snow sprite, she wouldn't freeze anyway. You're not. Wonderful. Then where is the village? You go north from... I'm terrible at directions. Can't you walk me there? Sorry, I really need to find myself some good snowflakes. Like this? The man conjures up a snowflake. The design is quite intricate. So this man must also be a snowflake maker. And a good one too, figures Noel. Or he's one of those imps. I don't know. Clearly, it's not that he's actually bad at directions, it's that he's some some imp or whatever, and he can't actually enter the village unless he's in, unless he's invited in, unless he's brought in by one of you. And so he's trying to trick you into bringing him in so he can I don't know. Not freeze to death? Eat, devour everyone's souls? I don't know anything about imps in this world. <laughs> Something like that. It's all yours. Can you take me to the village now? Uh, I suppose. Follow me. Oh, this ought to go well. They start walking. Noelle is observing the snowflake. It doesn't reveal its secrets to her either. I'm Yule. Do you have a name? What a dumb question. Of course she does. Noelle. I mean, I guess not everyone has names. Uh, not that I'm not glad to have run into you, but what do you need with snowflakes at this hour? Isn't it dangerous to be here by yourself? I'm studying, but it's not really working out anyway. Really? You seem pretty dedicated. She really isn't. You know, I've studied snowflakes myself. Yeah, I can tell. Are you a master? No, no. I'm a grand... Ah, finally! We're here! He rushes inside the village. Noelle quickly follows. A grand what, though? A grand dragon. <laughs> At last, we're safe. A million thanks, Noel. No problem. What were you saying before? I don't remember. Something about you not being a master snowflake maker. Ah, right. No, I'm a grandmaster. Oh, I guess I should have thought of that. Anyway, how can I repay you? Well, if you have any tips on making snowflakes, that'd be great. Or, I don't know, some money so that I can, uh, so that I can buoy up myself without have, having to work so I can just study all day. <laughs> that'd be nice too. Yule thinks about it for a bit. So, I take it you're having troubles? I can't get my license. Snowflakes for it are too hard. The man looks down at her, and also down on her, failing to hold back a smirk. Yeah, I suck. What about it? Ah, uh, it's fine. There's a very simple trick to it, though. I take it you're an apprentice here in this village? Yeah, why? Well, how about you try this? Before you start casting, close your- close yours eyes, cover your ears, and imagine the snowflake you want to make. That's it? Yep. It should help you focus your mind. I mean, makes sense. <laughs> I guess. Kind of. This feels like a trap, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm so suspicious of Yule. Wait, yes I do. I know exactly why I'm so suspicious of Yule. <laughs> uh... How about, how about you try right now? 
What template were you having trouble with? Oh, I... Don't remember what that snowflake looks like anymore. I can see why this isn't working out for you. Take a good look at it the next time, and do what I said. I'll try. Thank you. She said, full of confidence and excitement. Heh, <laughs> it's been a long day, that's all. Well, I'll be cheering for you. Come tell me how it goes. I'll be staying here for a few days, at least. And I'm just going to magically run into you, huh? Nothing magical about it. Look how tiny this hellhole is. Sorry to hear it's not to your liking. It's not your fault. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I have some sleep to catch. Well, good night. Thanks again for helping me. Good luck with your trial. She'll need it. But for now, she'll return home to call it a day. Alrighty then. And I think I'll be calling it a day too. So that was Yule. You can tell he's going to be an important character because he has a name that's related to Christmas, just like Noel. Uh, frankly, that's reason enough to ship it right from the get-go. What a suspicious fellow. But at least so far, he's less of a dick than... But at least so far, he's less of a dick than everyone else around here. Barring maybe Udalinen. I'd say they're probably about tied. <laughs> so, until next time. I'll, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.